much do houses cost in Windsor, Ontario, Canada? I've done this video before, but it was like COVID time. Things have changed. The prices are always changing. So if you're looking to move to Windsor in 2024, this should be a good guide to help you figure out what type of house you can afford. We're going to go price range by price range, and I'm actually going to show you houses that have sold in that price range just to give you a visual idea of how much they cost in Windsor right now. First off, what you need to know is at the end of 2023, the average price in Windsor and the surrounding area was about $516,000. Now, end of January, so 30 days later, the average price was $531,000. So the prices are already jumping this year. And I know that's just one month, but if I were a betting man, I would say that if you call me uh, in six months and ask me what the average price is, it's going to be even higher. You can call or text me at any time. By the way, that is my phone number right there. That's my personal cell. Give me a call uh, if you're looking to move to the Windsor area. People call me all the time, and I help a lot of people relocate here from Toronto or, or Winnipeg, Saskatchewan, out west, out east, everywhere, even other countries sometimes. Uh, so feel free if you want to pick my brain. That's my phone number right there. Okay, so let's start off at the lowest price range and work our way up. So we're going to do three fifty dollars to $450,000 price range. This is like the lowest you can get like a nice livable home in the Windsor area. You might find some for cheaper, but they usually need a lot of renovations or they're in a really rough neighborhood and I don't typically recommend them. So this home right here is a good example of what you can get. This was listed at $299 and then it's sold for $350. So about $50K over the asking price. Um, this has two bedrooms. It has one bathroom. There's no basement. It's on a quiet street in a blue collar area, but it's, it's, a, it's a nice area. If you can find another 50 grand in your budget, you get something like this, okay? So this sold for about $400,000. It's the exact same area, quiet, mature trees, safe, okay? Um, this one, though, had a second level with a couple bedrooms in it, and it had a basement as well. And then closer to $450,000, you get something like this. It was small. Uh, you walk right into the living room from the front door. Uh, there's no closet or anything. It, it, it had three small bedrooms. Now, uh, look at this backyard and look at the garage, okay? So this was like the main selling feature on this. You actually do get a huge yard. You actually do get a large garage and the landscaping was really well done. Okay. And it is in a slightly better neighborhood than the last one as well. So that's, that's $450,000. If you look at those two and you go, well, I don't really see what I'm getting for 450. Great. Go for the $400,000 one. Save yourself some money. Okay. Now you see this house right here. Uh, we're going to talk about this later on. These are like modern, typical, raised ranch, raised bungalow type homes. Uh, we're going to look at how much those cost on the way. First though, I want to look at the five hundred dollars to $600,000 price range. So around five hundred k, you start getting stuff like this. This is like the bare minimum you'll find this. This is a semi-detached home. This is in LaSalle, one of Canada's safest cities. It's a very nice area of Windsor. Um, and this, this is only about 20 years old. This sold just over $500,000. You will also find in this price range, the five hundred dollars to 600000 uh, the 1960s ranches. So so stuff like this, okay? Uh, this is in a great neighborhood. It's three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and it had a garage, which they don't all, all do from this era. Um, and this sold for $575,000. So you're a little bit closer to six hundred, dollars but you get a detached home, um, and they're usually pretty well maintained inside. Now, this is important. Most homes have bidding wars in this price range and in, in the other ones I mentioned before, the cheaper ones, okay? They almost all have bidding wars. So when you see something listed at $499, they, safe to assume they actually want $600. They purposely list them lower than what they're worth. Yes, they still do that in Windsor, and I feel like this year is gonna there's going to be a lot of that, okay? Because the, the, the demand in the marketplace is bubbling once again. If you need some help understanding that and navigating that, again, you can give me a call. That's my phone number right there on the screen, okay? So if you're looking to buy a house in Windsor and you're looking online and you're like, this is amazing and it's 400 grand and you want to figure out what is it actually worth, feel free to give me a call. Um, yeah, I mean, if I don't answer, just shoot me a text first, but um, that's my phone number. I get calls from YouTube constantly, okay? You can be one of them as well. All right, on to the six hundred dollars to $700,000 price range. 
once you hit 600,000, you get into the nicer neighborhoods a lot and you get slightly newer homes a lot of the time, especially with the with the townhomes and the semi-detached. So this is a really good example. This is a townhome in a really nice area. Uh, it just sold for a little over $600,000. It had a double garage, which a lot of the, the semi-detached or the townhomes don't. So that was a nice feature. You'll also get homes like this in Riverside. So again, this is 60s, 70s, but it, it was really nice home. And it's a split level, so it's bigger than the ranch I showed you before. There's a little bit more living space there. It sold a little under $700,000, so this the high 600,000s. Coming up in just a minute, we're going to talk about the lowest price you can get a really nice two-story like this, okay? First, though, before we do that, let's talk about the 700000 to 800000 price range. Okay, so starting at 700000 this is where you get into stuff like this. This is what I mentioned earlier, right? The modern raised ranch, raised bungalow type home, likely 20 years old or less. Not attached to anyone, no, no neighbors on your wall, single detached family home. So this one here is a really good example. This one uh, is a raised ranch, and this time it's 20 years old. It sold for $730,000. This is in South Windsor. So if you look at your map, this area of Walker Gates, this is where I'm talking about right here. You're going to find a lot of these right there. It's a really nice spot close to Costco and, all, and the highway and all major amenities. And that's kind of why uh, it's a really sought after area. Now with these raised ranches, the more money you go, the, obviously the bigger it's going to be and the nicer it's going to be. So this here is another example. This one uh, was close to $800,000. And again, it's just three or 400 square feet bigger. Uh, and it did have that third bathroom. So it includes the ensuite off the master. Uh, so a little bit more modern than the last one. All right, eight hundred to nine hundred thousand dollars, and in Canada, in Ontario, it's hard to get a really nice two-story like this for any less than eight hundred thousand dollars. And so that's where I'm putting these. Starting at eight hundred k, you start to get the nice two stories. This is a really good example. So this is in Tecumseh, which is like right here on your map, a really good area of Windsor. Okay, and this sold for eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. It had it has way more space than anything we've looked at so far. This is by far the biggest home so far in this video. Now, they're not always two stories in this price range. Sometimes you get the raised ranch with the bonus room. So you see this right here? This is actually a raised ranch like we like we looked at before. Remember this house? This is the same thing, except above the garage, right there, you've got like an extra master bedroom, which has a huge ensuite closet and and the, uh, the, um, the ensuite washroom as well. So those start selling around the 8, 850 mark right now. And then, of course, if you get really close to 900000 the higher end of this price range, uh, you get stuff like this. This one's 3,000 square feet, and it's sold for about $890,000. Okay, so 900000 to a million. This is, I, I like the houses in this price range a lot. So what I find you get is you get large, beautiful two stories that are just a little bit older, like 20, 30 years old. And maybe I'm weird, but I almost like the ones that are 20, 30 years old better than the brand new ones. First of all, you get wider lots, like new homes, new homes, they build on like tiny little residential lots, I find. But you go back to one that's 25 years old and you're going to have 60 foot frontage, 70 foot frontage. You got space from your neighbor. They were beautifully built. Some of them have wood burning fireplaces, which I like. And as, as long as they're well maintained, it can be a beautiful home. So let's look at this one right here. This is in South Windsor. It is large, over 3,000 square feet. It sold for $950,000. The lot, again, like I just said, it's almost 70 feet wide. It's something you just don't really find nowadays unless you give them a, you know, well over a million dollars. So here's another example right here. This was in Russell Woods area. So over here, it's considered a luxury area of Lakeshore. This sold for, again, just under a million dollars. You know what you should know? by the way, is the further you drive from Windsor, the more affordable things typically tend to get, especially in the upper price ranges, okay? So look at this one, for example. This sold for roughly the same price as the older ones we just looked at, but it's obviously a lot newer and it's roughly the same size. And the reason is it's way out in Lakeshore, which is a fantastic place, but it's a 30-minute drive into Windsor. So it's newer and it's, and it's about the same size, but it's a little bit further away, so the price is still under a million dollars. 
All right, so let's look at over a million dollars, and I'll quickly run through some here from like a million to like 1.5, okay? This is, I mean, you're going to get big, you're going to get beautiful, you're going to get updated, you're going to get nice lots, you're going to get nice area. You get it all when you have a million dollars or more. If you're, listen, if you live in Toronto and you live in a little tiny starter home that's worth a million dollars, I don't know why you're doing that. Sell it, move down here, and buy one of these, okay? Um, look at this one right here. So this is brand new, 3,000 square feet. It's in East Riverside. It's $1.1 million. Never lived in before. Brand new. This neighborhood here is even better. So this is over in LaSalle, and this sold for uh, $1.2 million. And, and trust me, if you walk through it, the finishes inside are just beautiful. This one is two years old, so not brand, brand new, but it still looks pretty much brand new. Uh, this one sold for $1.15, and your neighbors are like $2 million homes. So they're bringing up your value. And then you got something like this. So this sells for around $1.5 million. This is the most expensive I'll talk about on here. It's massive. It's over 4,000 square feet. That's a lot of house. I don't know if you've ever been in a house that's 4,000 square feet or more, but it's just, it feels endless. They're so big. This is also one of the best areas in the county. This house was five years old. And again, $1.5 million or a, right around there it sold for. So there you go. That's like your little breakdown of what you can afford depending on what price range you have. Uh, if you want like more in-depth details and you want to talk bathrooms and bedrooms and all that sort of stuff, feel free to give me a call. That's my phone number right there on the screen. Don't be shy. Feel free to shoot me a text and, and we can uh, we can start talking about how to help you move to the Windsor area, okay? Uh, go on a binge-watching journey. I have so many videos on this channel about Windsor. Thanks for watching.